Hey, I just got asked a really good question. And this is a question I think that a lot of people have. Like, so your hygienist or your dentist tells you you need a deep cleaning. But you're a little sus on that. And you're like, well, why can't I do a regular cleaning? My last doctor used to do a regular cleaning. The nice thing is now we have AI. So if you're not sure if your dentist is like um, pulling your leg or being honest with you or whatever, um, if they have AI, it's really simple. We can pull it up on the computer and we can see the bone loss, okay? Or there's two ways that bacteria is getting stuck in your gums. So remember, the reason you need a deep cleaning is because bacteria is stuck in your gums further than you can get at it. So a toothbrush can, if you're doing perfect technique, you're using your toothbrush at a 45 degree angle and you're not squishing the bristles when you're brushing and you're doing everything right, that toothbrush's bristles can get about half a millimeter to maybe a millimeter into the gums, which is fine if your gums are all healthy. If you are an Olympic flosser and you're like the best flosser in the whole world, research has showed that floss can maybe clean two to three millimeters down in the gums. So that's where we get this number of, oh, your probing depth is more than three millimeters because we know you aren't getting to the bacteria that's stuck under your gums if it's more than three millimeters. So when the dentist or the hygienist is going around and they're calling out numbers, those aren't arbitrary numbers. Those are all based in research. So if you hear like four, five, four, five, three, two, three good, Doctor three, three and, but two, one good, okay? They're calling me. I'll be just a second longer. So we know we need to get deeper than three millimeters. Number one, you're gonna wanna be numb to get down that far. And n number two, you're like, well, can you just do a normal cleaning? I don't want you to go deep. I don't wanna maybe pay that expense. Maybe I'm worried about pain. If you're concerned about pain, highly, highly recommend laser. Before we were doing laser, our patients would always need um, a prescription for pain meds after a deep cleaning. We do laser now maybe an ibuprofen, maybe. Like patients, we don't even, we don't even pre-medicate for SRPs anymore. Patients do amazing afterwards. Why? Because the laser, when it goes down, it doesn't just disinfect the area, it also um, starts that red light healing. And so, because you're already healing, a lot less post-operative pain. Um, but what I was gonna say is, okay, so now you've got bacteria down here four millimeters under the gums, five millimeters under the gums, and you want me to clean just the top portion. That can cause a really big problem. So what happens is your bacteria is still there. Bacteria is bad. Infection is bad. There's nothing good about bacteria in your body. And Time Magazine did a whole thing on it. That bacteria, especially the anaerobic crap that's down there, is so bad for your heart, can is linked to strokes, TIAs, like all the bad stuff. Read up on it, it's awesome. Also, just having inflammation in your body is draining of your energy. People are always like, why do you have so much energy? Why do you have so much energy? Well, first of all, I have attention deficit disorder, but number two, I floss. But anyway, totally digress. So you're saying to me, there's bacteria way down here. I know I can't get it at home but I want you to ignore this bacteria that could affect my heart and give me a stroke. But I don't want you to get that bacteria, I just want you to get this top bacteria. Why that's worse than not getting a cleaning at all is because instead of puffy, inflamed, infected gums, you wanna take the top of those gums and make them healthy and tight and trap the back bad bacteria down here with no way to get at it now and that's when you get periodontal abscesses, which are awful. So if you don't want an SRP and you don't want us to do a good job, please go somewhere else. If somewhere else is gonna let you have a stroke and a heart attack, but take your money, have at it, but we have got to do what we know is right. And if you have a hard time believing that what we're telling you is right, then you already don't trust us and that's probably not the right office to be at. So do the right things for the right reasons and you will always be blessed. So 
that's how I live my life. I know most of my friends are the same, but if you don't feel like the office you're going to is really telling you what's what, and you're not comfortable with their diagnosis, go to the office down the street and see what their diagnosis is. Or find an office that has AI with their um, x-ray or with their x-ray system. Cause you're either gonna have bone loss with AI or you're gonna have puffy bleeding gums. Those are the only two ways to get deep probing. So puffy bleeding gums, you're gonna see on a photograph that we take or bone loss, you're gonna see it on the AI system. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Hopefully this was helpful. I'll try and find the link to um, the Time Magazine, but I mean, it was a little bit ago. So in medicine, this is just known knowledge. Bacteria bad, infection bad, inflammation bad. Any questions, let me know.